Hello everybody, I am the CCG Collector. You've all seen me open plenty of booster packs on my channel, but so far I've offered only glimpses of what I do with the cards afterward. So let's change that today, shall we? I've got a nice big booster pack of Reflections 3 right here, and as luck would have it, all of the cards in it are from expansions that I don't yet have complete mint sets of. So let's, let's go through the cards first, and then I'll guide you through what I do with them afterward. As usual, we start out with a batch of five Premier Unlimited cards. Precise Attack. How do we get into this mess? Return of a Jedi. Laser Projector. Prophetess. Next up are the three Jabba's Palace. Deveronian. Gran, or Gran. Elam. Ooh. We get to the foil, of course. Tatooine Desert Landing Site. Very shiny, very nice. After that comes three Cloud City cards. Ichuta, Cloud City Technician, and Rescue in the Clouds. Followed by three Reflections 3 cards. Another Pathetic Life Form. Obi-Wan Kenobi, Jedi Knight. Wipe them out, all of them. Looks like this one has a New Hope Unlimited or revised, and two special edition cards, First Aid and Scurrier. Now something I've noticed as I've opened these Reflections packs is that the special edition cards are, are not commons or uncommons or rares, but they're the fixed cards that you could only get in the starter decks. So I guess they had a glut of those. Anyway, these are our cards. Let's put them out here, here, here. And here. Because these are a little bit harder to come by than all the rest, I'm going to put perfect sleeve, fit sleeves on them right away. And for the foil, I'm actually going to go ahead and double sleeve that too. Just get a couple of these out. The Reflections 3 cards, I'll just keep with a perfect fit sleeve for now, and then depending on if I have a good version of the card or not, I will either double sleeve it or put it in a penny sleeve and then put it in my collection. Alrighty. Now first, let's take a look and see if I have this foil card here. I'm going to, should not have put all these out here, hindsight, right? Good enough, good enough. This is my foil binder. And in it I have, as you might expect, foils. Let's get to the Reflections 3 section. And this is a an Imperial card. So we go characters first. Uh, effects second. So they're sorted by card name and then by, or first by card type by name. So character starts with C, effect starts with E, and so on. And then by card name. And it looks like I do in fact have the Tatooine Desert Landing site. That's fine. When I find out I have a duplicate, I take a look, I examine them, see which one's better. Now I can tell on this one it has slightly better centering. And I see a spec on this one that I don't know where it is, but either way, I'm happier with this guy. No, I'm not. There is a white spot on there. No, there isn't. Okay, I'm happier with this guy. Put that in my binder. I'll put this aside for now. All right, next up, I turn to my special card binder. And that includes all the episode one cards, all the premium cards, and then the reflections two and three cards. So let's go through those. Sorry. Thieves by Coruscant. Got through Thieves Palace. Here's my premiums. And here we get to the Reflections 3. And. 
excuse me, I'm trying to find the uh, third, here we go. Okay, now we can see here that Obi-Wan Kenobi Jedi Knight is actually not double sleeved, which to me means I did not consider that a, a perfect copy of it or a main condition copy or I couldn't verify. So this new one, I will put in, uh, I will double sleeve it. You can see kind of as you go through here that some of these will have, uh, will be double sleeved, some of them will not. And the ones that aren't double sleeved, like this one, for example, I mean, it's still Reflections 3, but you see the centering's off, it's got some damage up there. So it is very nice that I pulled this new one. Double sleeve that guy, put it in the binder. And finally, let's take a look at the Imperial section. Wipe them out, all of them, again, is not double sleeved. Now you'll see like, um, leave them to me right here is, but the rest aren't. That's because I've only lately started filling this out with new actual mint condition cards instead of whatever I had on hand. All right. So those are all put away in this binder, and then we'll pro proceed to the next step. Which involves, you guessed it, yet another binder. This time we will be looking at the Premier Unlimited ones. Bear with me, I did not plan ahead with how I threw these cards all over. One, two, three, four, five. All right. Again, I sort them first by side. Uh, dark side or Imperial goes first, D or I. And light side or Rebel goes second, R or what, L or R, whatever. So dark side goes first, characters, effects, interrupts, weapons. And then characters, effects, devices, and all that. But these are both just interrupts. open up the big old binder and we'll see right away that I do not have a prophetess. Now if if it wasn't clear where she went, I would pull out this big handy dandy card list I have printed out some time ago. It has a list of all the cards, but it's quite clear it goes right there. So I'll put my perfect fit sleeve on. I'll put my double sleeve on, my outer sleeve on, and I will slide that guy in there. And I'll continue to do that with the other cards if they're missing. Now, let's say I already have them. Well, ordinarily, I like to keep my cards in a big uh, BCW shoebox like this. What I do is I take a four by six note card, I or index card, whatever you want to call it, I write on what the box contains, I tape it to the lid, so I don't actually write on the box, and then within the box I have those sets. So we got my Dagobah and my Cloud City in here. But these are the these are my bulk cards, I guess. These are my non-pack pulled mint condition. So they're not gonna actually go in this box. Instead, in the boxes that I got when I purchased the um, the monster pads that keep the well that fill in space when my cards aren't enough, I keep all of my mint condition cards. And then in these cases, I will perfect fit. I'll put a perfect fit sleeve on them, and then I'll just put them in a penny sleeve, and I'll put them in their respective area. So that's what I do when I open a new pack of cards. Other than that, um, I think that's all you need to know. So thank you all for watching. Maybe this will help you in the future. And uh, again, this is the CCG Collector.